Hey guys, welcome to the 12th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework of Python. And in this one we're going to be talking about the Django signals. So, signals are built into the Django framework and they just allow you to execute some code based on a certain thing that is happening with the database. So usually this is when you save an object, either before or after you save an object, or when you do some other stuff with your models in your Django project. So I'm going to use one of the signals to be able to create the user profile when we create that user, that default Django user. So to get started, I'm just going to import the signal that we need. So I'm going to say from this is in my models.py from django.db dot models dot signal import and then the signal that we want is called post save so it's going to save the user object that default django user object and then when it saves that after that is finished it's going to then run the code based on that post save signal so i'm going to call that signal i'm going to say post save dot connect so we're connecting to this post save signal and what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a function so to do that i'm going to say create profile and this is a function that we're going to define later or just after this and i'm going to say the sender which is something that the post save takes and I'm going to say that is equal to the user so this is the default Django user we've imported here and now I'm going to define that create profile so I'm going to say def create profile and I'm going to say sender which we're passing in here so that's going to be the user and quarks so quarks that's just keyword arguments and I'm going to say if quarks and then this is going to be uh, created so in other words if the user this user object has been created then I'm going to create the user profile so I'm going to say user profile is equal to user profile dot objects dot cre uh, dot create and I'm going to say the user so the user that is linked with this user profile is the current user so again I'm going to use the keyword args keyword arguments being passed in and I'm going to say uh, it's going to be the instance so the key instance so what that returns is that user object and then it's going to pass that user object into this create method for the user profile so in other words it's associating the user that is being created with that user profile so now that i should have all the code in place to be able to create that user profile let's go and test it so i'm going to do python manage.py run server to run that development server again and I'm going to use the admin to be able to test whether this works or not. So it says no module name that dot signal. So um, sorry, it's dot signals. So that's plural. Um, and now that should import. So now that development server is running, I'm going to go to admin. I'm just going to go to the home page. And now we have user profiles and we have users. So if we go into users, you can see we've got this. Uh, super user which I created uh, in a previous video uh, called Max and if we go into user profiles you can see we haven't got any user profiles so at the moment uh, when I create a user it should now create that user profile with the user which it wasn't going to do before so let's go and create a new user and I'm going to say this is going to be a test user I'm going to enter a password and enter it again so that test user was created, so that's a default Django user. So now I'm going to go and check if it has a user profile. And we can see it's got a user profile object, and that user, the associated user with that object, is called test, which is brilliant because that is the user that we created, and it's given that user a user profile. So 
By no means is this the only way of doing it, but I think this is probably the easiest way of doing it and it doesn't require too too much code and that code is still relatively readable in my opinion at least compared to some of the other solutions I've seen of people trying to hack their way around it. I think we're making a really good start with this user profile model and that's really working as I sort of want it to for the moment so in the next video I'm going to take a step back and look at some of those templates, the HTML templates uh, that we've started work on and I'm going to sort of fill it out a bit using a bit of bootstrap, a bit of content so I can put some more content on that site and just, just fill it out a bit so it looks a bit more presentable.